Hello everybody, this is Stringing Hammer back to kick off round three for group C. Yes, could be a pivotal round, round three. Starting us off, we will see Lozange going up against Carnotaurus Man. A massive game that for Carnotaurus Man. If results go against him today, well, he could be the first casualty of this tournament. Then we will see Morza going up against MEJP10. And concluding with Stranger Kid going up against the Champions team. So yes, a pivotal round, round three for this group. And as I said, we could see our first casualty of the tournament. And we could see our first person to qualify from the group stage into the knockout round. So let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Honestly, I feel bad for Carnotaurus Man the most. They've really struggled to impose themselves. But anyway, in the right corner for Lozange, we got Mega Raptor. Uh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, this is the easy group where everyone wants to swap when HP is below half, except for Carnotaurus Man. And we are in the Colosseum. No Blitz type users or Quick Strike users here. Backing up the Mega Raptor, we got Super Baryonyx. Awaken mode on the three. Lozange was defeated in round two, I believe. What did they win? I can't. I can't remember now. I know they won. No, yeah, they, they yeah they lost round two, won round one. They lost to Mouse, didn't they? Yeah, that's so yes, right. Mouse came from behind the whip. <laughs> Right, in the blue corner, the Carnotaurus man, we got the Carnotaurus, of course. Well, yet to really get going, like, this Carnotaurus in the first two matches has really been a letdown. And the Super Minus, on the other hand, we've seen glimpses, we've seen glimpses, but Carnotaurus man really yet to ignite in this tournament. And looking at their team, I actually thought they'd do okay, I thought they'd do okay in this tournament, but they really struggled. Really struggled to impose themselves, and as I said, this is massive. If they lose this match, then, well, it's pretty much over in terms of getting out of the group. And history and past tournaments tell me that no one has ever got out of a group stage on Z you know, when having zero points after three matches. So yeah, not good for Carnotaurus man if they lose this match. Oh, yeah, of course it's a crap. <laughs> well, the Hurricane Beat will get triggered if the Carnotaurus lasts long enough. Ugh, it's gonna be history repeating itself, isn't it? Ooh! Finally! Finally! The Carnotaurus gets a hit! I don't even think it's got a hit in this tournament. And this hurricane beat will do a serious amount of damage. Oh, look at that, he's killed it! Oh, the Carnotaurus! Blowing the Mega Raptor away! See? Would never have happened if I was my Mega Raptor. No, no, no. That's much more like it from Carnotaurus, man. That is what we want to see. Oh, hello, it's a Sonic Blast! Is his luck beginning to turn? Carnotaurus man, luck has turned. <laughs> He's become a world beater. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, we got a, we got a shockwave. He's, he hit the jackpot. Right, that's twice. Oh, where does this come from? Okay, so it's time to swap for Carnotaurus man. And he gets the swap. He gets a two for a dive! Well, Carnotaurus has served his purpose, hasn't it? But the Barry does have the Awaken Mode to count on. And speak of the devil, it's time for the Awaken Mode. Well, where does this come from from Carnotaurus, man? The tie, ooh, that doesn't really suit the suit, though. Carnotaurus man must be loving it. Completely stomped in the first two matches, but dominating round three. And he's on course for a massive, massive bonus point win. And there it is! Fully deserved. Wow. I, I felt so bad for this guy in the, after round two, but that is so 
much better. And that gets Carnotaurus Man right back in this contest, right back in the group stage, and off the mark. And as for Loz and Jay, well, more wound licking by the looks of it. Especially after that bruising match. Right, on to our second match. Oh, we're in the Coliseum again. Okay, in the red corner, for the Mousy Wousy, we have got the Augustinia. And actually looking at the matchup, Mouse might actually be in a bit of trouble here because both of her dinosaurs are going to have tight disadvantage against Emmy's two dinosaurs. So not only has she got the Blitz and the Quick Strike to deal with, she's got tight disadvantage to deal with, so Mouse will do well to win this match. Backing up the Augustinia, we got Lula Titan. Well, we all saw what this beast did in the last round. Basically won it for Mouse against Lozenge to get her off the mark. Okay, in the blue corner for MEJ E10, we have got Eucentrosaurus. Not Blitz type Eucentrosaurus, of course. And it also has Quick Strike as well, so Emmy's first move will be Rock. And then it will be Scissors. Dun dun. Backing up the sent resource, we got the Blitz type dealt with Romulus. So yeah, I think the key here is if well if Emmy gets off the, the Blitz hits, then yeah, it's probably gonna be a comfortable win for them. But if Mouse can avoid that and get the and stop the Blitz effect, maybe she's got a chance. Right, so first things first, we gotta do we gotta go for Rock. Alright. Ooh, it's a tie. Okay, well, we don't go for the quick strike because the count is on five. So the next time the count is on ten, that's when you sent the source goes for the quick strike. So it will be now. Uh, both want to spot when it keeps below half. Let's see. Oh, mouse caught the bluff. Oh, this is gonna be. Bad for any JP turn. Oh, look at that! Oh, and yeah, add insult to injury. Heal up the August in here as well. Oh, that's not good for any JP turn, but very good for Max. Oh, well, you said the source is dead. Avoided our bad matchup, and now the Delta Dromius comes in. Let's see if Delta Dromius has any better luck. So yeah, even though the count is not on 10, the Blitz type user's got to start with scissors. It's only quick strike that that 10 second rule applies, not, not with Blitz type. But nonetheless, MEGT10 gets the crit off anyway. Oop, that's a tie. Ooh, that's another crit. Mouse failing with a swap. MGE10 going back into this contest. Ooh, all of a sudden, Mouse's lead is gone. Ooh, lucky that wasn't a crit there. I could have done, well, do a lot, do a serious amount of damage. But Mouse is living dangerously going for paper. Ah, there we go, going for scissors. Oh, and of course, the double goes for scissors, but time's probably help. Mouse there, as long as she don't get hit by that crit, I think she'll be okay. But, the Delta Dromius is going to put any GP10 in the lead. But let's be honest, there's nothing Mouse can't recover from. Ty, Ty's gonna suit Emmy now. As another Ty. Oh, the Ty, that's game over for Mouse. Wow, a lot of Ty's there. No green impulses this time. And it is Emmy JP10 getting the win, despite the shaky start. Well, almost, almost for Mouse, but no. <laughs> Yeah, no, no real surprise there. I, I, I fancied Emmy to win this match from the start. And I was right. Right, on to our final match of this session. Oh, well, we're not in the Coliseum. Okay, in the red corner. 
For Stranger Kid, we have got Parasaurolophus. And in fact, this beach is very bad news for it because, well, it's it's hit and miss. If they, well, you can see which it favours and which it disfavours. And yes, back in at the para, we've got Ampelosaurus. So interestingly, the para, the Parasaurolophus is going to get hit first. And in fact, they'll get hit with a crit. But when the Amplosaurus comes in, or if the Amplosaurus comes in, it will get a hit as well, which could be a crit. Okay, in the blue corner for the champions team, we've got Alpha Kentris, no, Alpha Casmosaurus. And yes, because of the terrain disadvantage, it will get off that crit. Backing up the... Chasmosaurus, we have the Rugops. Rugops will have the type advantage over the... Actually, yeah, if, if the champions team get their swapping right, they could have a double type advantage. So it could come down to type advantage versus terrain advantage. Okay, well, first thing first, let's get this crit over with. Uh, both of our guys... Well, yeah, both of our guys will swap an eight people of half. Okay, not, not too much damage done there. Chasmosaurus kind of has a weak crit. Ooh, but another hit from the Kaz. This is a strong start from the Champions team. A win for the Champions team will put them top. A bonus point win for Stranger Kid will put them level with MEG E10. Ooh, the Power getting the swap out there. Now that's interesting, because Amplosaurus comes in, and because it has the terrain advantage, it will get the next hit, which will be a crit. And I don't think, and I think it's from Tabakan, so there'll be no type disadvantage penalty there to worry about. That's a tactical swap there by Stranger Kid. You can see that there's the, there's the crit. Terrain advantage working well. Ooh, but the counter blitz has been triggered and that practically guarantees that the Calthosaurus will get a swap out. Or does it? Okay, no it doesn't. A tie, probably the worst case scenario there for the champion C, but they get the hit nonetheless, which will enable the Castle to swap out. Oosh. Into the root god. Ooh, I think move removal happened there. Oh no, it didn't. Never mind. Yes, I do feel I do sound snotty, okay? <laughs> oh, that's not good. That's not good for the stranger kid. That's not good at all. That's a ninja attack, and that's gonna probably kill Ampelosaurus. Oh, that's bad. And this thing's gonna have type advantage over the power. And, and it's going to get hit as well because of terrain disadvantage. Oh, that's bad. That's really, really bad. And the crit block as well, so that guarantees the champions team another hit. Whether it's a tie or an actual hit. Oh, he's going for the crit. He gets the crit. It's probably game over. Okay, I'm sorry, but you can't go one. Oh, no, that's game. Oh, look at that. The terrain disadvantage costing Stranger Kid the win. Oh, that was a big turning point in the match. And that gives the Champions team a bonus point win to top Group C. Well, these two are champions of the mini tournament, so yeah. <laughs> oh, that was brutal from the Champions team. Taking control of the match completely with the Rugops and the well-timed swap to top Group C. Right, let's have a look at Group C. Well, there's Group C for you, ladies and gentlemen. The Champions team on 10 points and all but through to the last 32 round. And the first team to reach double digits in the group stage. Then we have MEJP10 bouncing back with a win over Mouse. In second place on 8 points. 4 points clear of these two. Lozon J on 5 points in 3rd, and then obviously these two level on 4, and then Mouse on 3 points. Right, let's have a look at round 4, shall we? So round 4, we'll see MEJP10 going up against Lozon J. 
Ooh, that could be an important match. The champions team going up against Carnotaurus Man. And then, massive game at the bottom between Stranger Kid and Morseland. Right, that's going to conclude this session. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And ta-ta. Mm -hmm.